FBI joined an investigation there into, quote, white Christians and targeted attacks that left tens of thousands of North Carolinians without power. Utility crews responding to the outages found at least two power substations damaged by gunfire in more definitely white Christians about an hour southwest of Raleigh. Local officials have not announced a suspect or a motive. And the because it's white Christians. Ruled it out as an act of domestic terrorism. It is. Attacks on the United States power grid have been the subject of extremist chatter in recent years. And CNN's Whitney Wilde starts off our coverage from Moore County, North Carolina, where it could be days before power is restored. Moore County, North Carolina, will again plunge into darkness tonight, two days after the sheriff says someone opened fire on two power substations White a few Christians miles open apart fire. in Carthage Y'all and know who West did End, shit. North Carolina. Our medical calls have increased due to people maybe being on oxygen or having other medical um, devices that, that require power. Evil as um, white Christians. Increase in fire alarms. We've had an increase in traffic accidents. Police are working to find the person or people responsible for what they say was white an Christians. intentional criminal act. Fuck. So far, they are releasing little information. Saying because it's white Christians. The attack happened Saturday night, and a gate at one of the substations was removed from its hinges. Power went down around 7 p.m. Black the people same don't do time, shit like this. A drag this. show was set to take place in the area. Social media buzzed with rumors over the weekend that the attacks were some kind of effort to stop the drag show. But police say so far they have found no evidence connecting the two. No motivation. Uh, nobody's, uh, no group has stepped up to uh, acknowledge or accept it. Uh, they're the ones that done it. The attack is the type of incident law enforcement and Homeland Security officials have warned about as recently as last week. The Department of Homeland Security updated its National Threat Assessment Bulletin November 30th, sounding the alarm about the potential for attacks on critical infrastructure. Yeah, the white Christians, have left dangerous the ass white Christians. Power likely won't be I keep telling you these the motherfuckers person. are dangerous. Got no way to heat because we don't have a fireplace. And then we don't have you know no who did it. or anything like that, so we just stranded. Fuck, you know who did it. They're At not going to tell you. oil and propane in Aberdeen, Davis Clark says they are the only fuel provider for about 20 miles. First responders and public works employees lined up throughout the morning. As soon as the power went out, we started getting calls. Um, we figured out a way to rig up a truck so that we could fuel emergency services, the police, fire, EMS. Um, and that's what we I didn't have a plan for white Christians. Huh? It was a long night. They Saturday never night, have a plan for when they attack white Christians. Clark is a third Christians. generation owner of the family business, and this is the first time they opened it up for drive-through service. I've never seen anything like it. Keep more County in your thoughts and prayers. I hope they find who did this because it's uh, it's senseless. Y'all know who did it. Y'all know who did Earlier, that shit. Earlier this year, the Department of Homeland Security issued a memo saying that since 2020, domestic violent extremists have been saying on social media uh, and other online platforms that the energy grid is a particularly attractive target, Jake. Uh, so certainly uh, th what happened is that d you know, the Department of Homeland Security Fucking warned about Trump something supporters. that ended up coming to fruition, which is very startling. Trump is the leader the of country. a hate group. Meanwhile, here in Moore County, they group. await for the power to come back Trump online. Is the, schools, Trump is the new Osama bin Laden. And a curfew will be in place tonight, Jake. All right. Whitney Wilde in Moore County, North Carolina. Thanks. Let's discuss with Juliet Kayam, the former assistant secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, and CNN chief law enforcement and intelligence analyst John Miller. John, walk us through the, what you think is big likely happening on the ground the white in Moore Christians County right now. Attacking How these investigations America. work? How can you they have to designate white Christians as a well, fucking to terrorist motive, group. That gives you a way to start towards people who Shit. have that motive. How, much, how many right more now, people so they have to kill? Right now they're going to be doing video canvases which is very hard in a remote area. Not a lot of video there. You know uh, where we don't have this problem at? New Orleans. You know where we don't have this problem at? Chicago. You know why? Because scary ass white Christians are not in New Orleans and they're not in Chicago. They do dumb shit like that around other white Christians. Where that bullet originated, maybe a shooting. So we don't really give a fuck created. about this story. Yeah, I just wanted to post it to say dangerous ass white Christians. Another power station in California.